Good evening, everybody. The Alvia boys basketball team took on perennial power, whole Western Christian in the Iowa State basketball tournament. Albia in blue. Zach Hugan hits one from behind the line. At the other end, Taylor Midema has more range than Amana. The Crusaders hit six out of ten from behind the line in the first half of play. At the other end, Tanner wins, scored 13 points in only 19 minutes of action. Ryan Sarver will also score from long range. The Blue Demons, Matt Baker, led Albia with 19, but Whole Western Christian wins it, 76-53. to However, the news was better for Kyoto as they beat Easton Valley, 56-47. to The Indian Hills basketball team is eight days away from its first-round game at Hutch. The Warriors are the top seed in the national tournament. They will open play next Tuesday against the winner of the New Mexico and Northeast Oklahoma A&M game at 2 o'clock. For only the third time in school history, the Truman State women's basketball team is headed to the NCAA tournament. The Bulldogs punch their ticket as they beat Maryville by 13 points on Sunday. The Bulldogs waltz through the GLVC tournament as they won by an average of 13 points a game. Now it's on to Springfield Friday for a first round game against Drury, a team they lost to by seven back on February the 1st. But since that loss, the Bulldogs have stepped it up on both ends of the floor. I think defensively we're a better team overall. We uh, have definitely put more effort into our defensive, defensive effort lately, and I think that we're ready for the Panthers. It was a pretty close game. We lost by seven. We had a foul at the end, so that kind of let the score go up. Um, I think now we definitely um, worked on making our weaknesses better so that when we play against tough teams, they aren't exposed as much. We're happy to be there, but we're also ready to take off um, jury right away and see how far we can go in the tournament. The first time we played them, we definitely battled with them. It definitely was not our best game. Um, we've come together more as a team. You know, we've, we can rely on other people to score, and um, we've just really learned who we are as a team, and we know what we're capable of. The team will leave Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock from Pershing. It'd be a great time to take a late lunch break and send the Bulldogs off in style. That's 2 o'clock Wednesday at Pershing. In softball, Truman State's winning streak is now eight games after the Bulldogs took two from Illinois Springfield, 8 to nothing and 9-1 to one down in Columbia today. In baseball, Truman State lost to Bellarmine, Four to nothing and seven to six. The Kirksville baseball team took advantage of the great weather outside. They hit the turf at the football field. The Tigers will be young, but there is talent at every position. They understand the Tiger way. And by May, Kirksville may be one of the best teams in the area. Our guys play in the summer. Obviously, we get 30 to 40 games in the summer. We use the same system, so the terminology, the language is the same. All these incoming freshmen got to play in our system last year for the most part. We got a couple new guys. Uh, you know, we got a guy who's coming back out that didn't play last year, but they all know the terminology and it won't take them long to pick it up. And, and so hopefully, it'll be a smooth transition.